guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to finally do something that I have been procrastinating for such a long time. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and try out and review video of the HP Sprocket mini pocket printer. Now these are perfect for journaling and on the go and with me being stuck at home I really wanted like a portable printer because all my other printers are in my office and also when you're journaling I think it's just such a cool idea to just have this on hand to print off pictures from your phone that you took that day. I think that's such a good idea. Now I haven't actually looked at many reviews for this printer. I basically looked on Amazon for mini printers and seen this one pop up, read some reviews and ordered it. So I think it was around £79 I paid for it. I'll leave the prices on screen for the exact amount that I paid and I'm ready to do an unboxing and see what it's like. I've got high hopes for it so I'm really hoping that it's going to make my journal look really really cute. It's such a fun idea to me and I'm really really excited to try it out. So without further ado let's unbox it and see how it plays out, see how easy it is to set up, see how the print quality is and see genuinely how it stacks up. So it's come in a really cute box, it's really nicely packaged and I also ordered an extra set of paper. It says instantly print 2x3 inch photos from your smartphone and then this is a little pack of photo paper that came with it. I ordered this separately and it says it's for the Sprocket and the Sprocket 2 in 1 and you have to download the Sprocket app which I'll do in a little bit once we've unboxed this uh, but it's a really nice packaging, I really like this so let's just unbox it and see what it looks like inside and you just download it on the app store in the google play store Ooh, i like this speckly looking box it's kind of giving me apple vibes with this nice packaging it's really like nicely packed in nice sturdy material and i'm a sucker for really cute packaging so i like this so far oh my gosh it's so small so as you open it the printer is just here like this how cool is that? I opted for like the silvery grey speckly one. This is totally giving me iPhone vibes, like Apple vibes, with the way it's packaged really neatly in like this nice matte kind of paper to protect it. I definitely feel like they've been inspired by the packaging and I'm not complaining. It's really, really nice and it doesn't feel cheap. It feels really high quality and expensive. Uh, I'm always appreciative of some <laughs> nice packaging. Oh, this is really, really nice to feel. And look how small this printer is. This is what drew me to it in the first place. The fact that I could print out photos and this is how small, lightweight and compact the actual printer is. Like, this is my hand for size reference. I know it's hard to see, but it is smaller than my hand. Like, how does this even work? And this is a colour printer as well. What is technology coming to? I can't even believe it. I like the way it's got this little fabric tag that says HP. It's got what looks like a USB connection here, a little on button. Genuinely like, yeah, the genuine look of it. You can open the case, what it looks like, and I'm assuming you put your paper in this little section here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It has like a little mini paper roller inside. Oh my god, I think I'm going to love this. And it's got like strong magnets by the looks of it on the underneath. So here you can see some magnets which holds the case together. It feels overall very, very sturdy and nice quality and I really do like the design. I think it's a really pretty design. It's kind of got a silvery sheen to it, really compact and feels like a nice quality. It's plastic, but it's like a good quality plastic, if that makes sense. So it comes with some paper as well, but you only get 10 in the pack that I purchased. So that is why I purchased a further 20 sheets. Now this paper is fairly expensive for what it is for the size of the printer. And I'm assuming that's how they mainly make the money on this through paper. One thing that I really loved about this is they are sticky backed photo sheets. So I feel like these are actually designed specifically for kind of journaling and planners and stuff like that so you can stick it into journals and stuff and this is what originally drew me to want to purchase it and I'm super super excited because it means I can just like print out and rather than using glue I can just peel it back and stick it straight down. This is a little instruction sheet you get in it. I like the way it's shaped exactly like the sprocket. 
and it seems pretty, pretty simple. Install the app, load the paper, load the blue card for best print quality. Okay, so there must be like a blue card inside here that you load down first. Charge when needed, a print with the Sprocket app. That's so cool. So this is actually so portable that you charge it and can take it on the go and you don't need to like have it plugged into print. Scan with the app to reveal magic. So you must have to scan something on the Sprocket. Let's get our phone and install the app. So I'm on the app store at the minute and it's looking pretty promising so far. It's got five stars out of 6.7 thousand views. So I'm assuming it's a good app. Okay, the app's finished downloading. It's got a really nice user interface. You can kind of see that this is kind of targeted towards people who like planners and stuff. The graphic design is really, really nice on it. So I'm just gonna click select my sprocket set up my printer so i'm gonna hello ah you just have to allow permissions to your camera and bluetooth seems pretty simple and select this one and see if it's this one lift the load to remove load the blue card barcode down and load the paper with the hp logos facing down seems pretty straightforward pop them in there like that pop this back on oh it's got like a spring to it now the paper's in oh it's making a noise it's doing something isn't this just so cool that this is a printer it's just so small and nice to touch is anyone weird like that like i love touching stuff like this like if it's a nice material like when i first get an iphone or something i'm like all over the feels of it oh it's printed out it's doing something with the blue card here. Maybe I shouldn't have juggled it around. Okay, it just kind of printed this blue card out. Connect your mobile device to the printer. HP Sprocket. It was the 200. There you go, that was so easy. It literally just did it for me. Choose HP Sprocket on the next screen. Okay, select an accessory. It's been pretty straightforward so far. Okay, select your status LED colour. Oh my gosh, as if you can select the LED colour. I love me a bit of customisation. Of course, I am going to choose pink. Okay. <gasps> Look at this. It turned pink. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Your devices are paired. Okay. Continue to gallery. I'm going to try and find my Germany photos because that is what I want to include in my planner. So I got a picture of the plane wing which I think would be cute to start off my planner. You can even edit your photo and everything on here. Let's just print it. Oh, here we go. It's pretty fast, isn't it? I mean, that's going out pretty fast if you ask me. Nice. I am actually quite surprised at the print quality. So the print is on a glossy paper. This is my fault, all this along the bottom because I actually took a screenshot because I had no space on my phone. Uh, so it's actually a screenshot, I'll just cut that off. It's obviously not gonna be the same as like a proper professional photo printer, but for traveling journals and everything, I think that's pretty impressive. I'm actually gonna give it a go and see what the editing tool's like. Like, what is the options on the editing? So you've got the generic brightness and contrast that you can edit with. This is already edited and got a filter on from Instagram stories. You can add text, you can add little, oh, you can add little cute emojis and stuff. This is a happy Easter one. Uh, we've got all sorts of different like little stickers you can print off. This would be really cute if you had like a baby. You can add one month, two months, three months, bun in the oven, to-do list. Oh my gosh, this is actually like such a great thing for planning. That is so cool. I absolutely love it. The colours are slightly different to my phone, but it honestly does the trick. The one thing I would say is it'd be cool if you could kind of get like a matte piece of paper rather than the glossy, because I personally would prefer matte. 
and this is really nitpicking at this point I think um, it's just really really cool and handy yeah I just really like these I'm gonna print a few more pictures and yeah stick them in my journal and see what they look like one great thing about this printer is you never have to worry about changing cartridges this has a built-in thermal system built into the paper itself so it uses zinc technology very similar to its competitors that also uses zinc paper technology and basically it's like a thermal printer that you use for shipping labels and stuff like that you never have to worry about the cartridges or changing out any ink or anything it is all built into that paper so I'm going to attempt to peel off one of these and stick it in my planner just peel the back off nice I'm going to stick it right here I wonder if you can remove it pretty sticky. I really had so much fun using this printer. Not only is it a beautiful little compact printer which just looks so pretty, it's so portable, it's light. It was just so easy to set up and use. That is what I loved about it. I had no issues and still have had no issues since using this of printing out any of my pictures that I wanted to print out. It literally worked straight off the bat. It had a little bit of charge so I could use it straight away. Even then it's a simple USB charge and it works when it's plugged into the USB so you don't have to wait for it to charge to use it you can charge it and use it at the same time if you want to but I am genuinely really impressed with this little guy I absolutely loved it <laughs> I put this in there to, to make it look like a thumbnail photo anyway oh my gosh I am so excited to use this it is so so fun so so portable I just love the way I can carry it in my bag I can keep it near my diary and just like literally print out some photos from the day the only downside like I said is that printer paper is a little bit expensive but I'm assuming that is how they make their money but yeah I hope you enjoyed this review video if you would like to see more like it or you want to see the behind the scenes of me running my Etsy shop my studio vlogs and stuff don't forget to hit subscribe if you're not already and leave a little like if you enjoyed it. Alright then, thank you so freaking much for watching. I'll see you all very, very soon. Alright then, love you. Goodbye.